Well, greetings, kindred spirits, and welcome back to another card trick tutorial. Today we're talking about Die Vernon's Triumph. It's a trick and a method. Let's do the trick first. It uses a selected card. I'm just going to use the Ace of Spades as like a, a target card, per se. And then we'll use a mixing procedure known as the upside down, all around poker shuffle. It's a little known and un underused technique. Device defined selected cards. Now check it out, what you see is what I do. Half the cards are shuffled up into the face down cards. Somewhere in there is the ace. Now as I shuffle the cards, I'm looking through the face up ones trying to find the ace. If I don't see it, it's probably one of the face down cards. And if it's one of the face down cards, well heck, look that narrows it down considerably. 51 facing up, one not, and yes, it is the target card, the Ace of Spades. Whew, not a bad card trick, huh? And not too tough. I consider this an intermediate level trick. Uh, it revolves around a false shuffle that we're gonna discuss. It also revolves around a card control, which we'll briefly talk about, but uh, beyond the scope of this tutorial to tell you how to control cards. But the card you wanna shuffle with the Triumph Mix, start on top of the deck. So when I said I took my target card and put it in the middle, what I really did was pushed it out the side just a little bit, and I used my little pinky to get a break under it, over it, over it. And then I cut the deck, bringing that card to the top. So that's the uh, double undercut card control, or a version thereof. Here's the real meat of the trick, the Die Vernon Triumph Shuffle. Take note, it's going to be easier to do this if you're on a soft surface, like a tablecloth or car carpet square, maybe a nice close-up pad. And uh, so get, get that going and then do this. Place a deck in front of you lengthwise and cut the top half to the right. Maybe a few more cards in this packet than the left. That's optional, but it helps. Turn the left hand packet face up and do spread at this point so that your audience can see the condition. <clears throat> and then begin a shuffle uh, of the face up into the face downs, starting with the face up pile. You wanna drop about four or five cards Leave a little bed of cards. It's going to make the uh, false shuffle easier to do. So it looks like this. Last card is the target card. It's a single card if you're just finding one. You can use this for jokers or four aces. And if you're doing that, those are the cards that fall last. But just for one selection, a single card falls last to top the face up card. Uh, using the Die Vernon Triumph Shuffle allows you to spread the cards in a mix. Uh, position and I suggest you do so. It's one of the advantages of using this particular mix. So give your audience a view of this face up, face down, half and half shuffle. And then as you apparently uh, square everything up, you're going to execute the Die Vernon Triumph push through. Yeah, which it doesn't really do anything, but it looks good. It happens uh, as the right hand rests against the table. You want to leave some space under your palm because you're going to shift some cards under there. That happens as your left hand apparently pushes the face-up cards square into the deck. What really happens is under cover of that forefinger, which is applying pressure on the top card, the, the, the face-down cards move to the right under your hand, but it looks like, boop, looks like you just push everything flush. Now to continue the shuffle and uh, review the performance to see this at speed, I come back for the face-down cards that I just uh, side jogged when they push flush, and cut those out to the right. So those are all the face out, face down cards. It's a strip out of the face down cards. And uh, let me explain Di Vernon's procedure. From this point, he would come back with some face up cards and then place the face down cards. Then he could show some face down, some face up, and even some cards back to back. This is how Di Vernon would finish the trick and it's a fine finish. And I'll explain that briefly. Let's uh, go back to the point we were. Triumph shuffle, spread and push through, cut, cut some from the face up, cut the face down pile, show face down cards, cut into the face up pile. Now you're gonna cut at the natural break because the cards are half face up, half face down. If you just use kind of your intuition and lift up, you'll get that natural back to break point. And uh, the idea is you're showing face downs, face up, and some cards are even face to face. Now, as you do this, you turn that pile over and that will correct the deck, leaving the only face up card, the Ace of Spades. That's an excellent way to do the trick. You can finish the tutorial now and move on, or you can advance your learning and use my uh, application of Daryl Martinez's cutting display. My application, my revision of Daryl Martinez's cutting, cutting display. And what this will allow you to do is after you've apparently shuffled the deck face up and face down, is to show the deck in a mixed up mash of uh, cuts. That looks pretty, pretty messy, right? 
but it's still the same procedure. So I'll walk you through that and uh, maybe follow along with cards in hand and make it easier to learn. Select a card on top, triumph shuffle, face down cards first, do the push through after the ribbon spread, boop, do the strip out, and now we start the cutting display. Listen close. The right hand comes back to its left hand pile and takes about four or five cards, places them face up atop the uh, face down cards. Now the left hand moves forward, dropping just a few face up cards and leaving them behind as it cuts its parcel forward. The right hand follows by moving back. You're kind of moving in opposites here. As one hand moves, the other hand stops. Now the right hand begins moving again. It cuts about half of its pile and flashes the back to back portion and then moves forward and lands on top of its pile as the left hand does the same, showing face to face cards and moving to the back. Continue the action, revolving back to its packet. The left hand moves to its packet and then complete the deck, putting us right back in this position that we were before. That leaves us to finish the effect. I'm gonna give you one more bonus tip here. This is a Richard, Richard Kaufman subtlety published in uh, Card Magic back in the 80s. It's a nice way to finish this without blatantly turning over a packet. So use this, say, yeah, some are face up, some are face down, some are even uh, face to face. Now, instead of turning this over and putting it on top, what you do is just cut it to the side. Now your hands will angle the deck up like this. And what this does is allow the audience to see the cards going back together in the wrong way. Nice, uh, subtle visual convincer for the end. All that remains is to create your hocus pocus moment. I like to spread the deck face up at this point. This gives a little dramatic tension before revealing the single face down card to be the card you were in search of. And that brings us to the conclusion of the Die Vernon Triumph tutorial. Hope you enjoyed it. Go practice and have some fun.